Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Prepare to be dazzled, delighted, and downright enchanted at the circus. Come and enter the circus tent with us where we'll learn all about the entertaining world of hyponatremia and specifically go into its sensational clinical presentation and differential diagnosis. Grab the pack of peanuts while you're at it. It'll come in handy for the show. At Sketchy, we use delicious salty peanuts to symbolize sodium. Hyponatremia, naturally, is represented here by these salty peanuts on the ground. Think of hyponatremia as an excess of free water relative to sodium. For different reasons, which we'll discuss, the body decides to hold on to extra water, which dilutes out sodium and decreases its serum concentration. With that in mind, let's welcome our MC, whose brain hair should remind you that symptoms of hyponatremia are mostly neurologic. The tight headband you see him wearing is our recurring symbol for headache, and he's shaking with excitement to remind you of seizures. Other neurologic symptoms include confusion, irritability, and coma. And to round out this nightmarish image, our clown's green face paint should remind you that patients can have nausea and vomiting. Yeah, it's more of a sad clown than a happy one. Oh, oh, heads up. Turns out our sad clown has a penchant for surprise scares. The most feared complication of hyponatremia is brain herniation, symbolized by our clown's brain wig springing away, which can happen rarely, thankfully, after receiving lots of fluid following surgery or drinking exorbitant quantities of water. Patients with intracranial pathologies, such as recent TBI, intracranial surgery, intracranial hemorrhage, or space-occupying lesion, are especially at high risk for this catastrophic condition. Anyway, on to the actual show. There are three categories of hyponatremia. Hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic. Hypertonic hyponatremia, represented here by these highly concentrated polka dots on this acrobat's leotard, is caused by osmotically active substances, like glucose, which raise the serum tonicity and pull water from cells into the serum. This candy trapeze should remind you that severe hyperglycemia is a common cause of hypertonic hyponatremia. What a sweet act. 